Richard, thank you. When Cabarrus County students return to class today, thousands will start the year in a brand new school. It's part of an effort to address overcrowding as the district reports record growth. WCNC Charlotte's Destiny Richards explains what this means for families. Destiny. Yeah, back in February, Cabarrus County Schools approved new school boundaries for the upcoming year, determining where students will attend based on where they live. Superintendent John Kopicki says there are about 3,000 students affected by the changes, but it's the only way to manage the district's growth. For many students at Cabarrus County Schools, the first day of school starts in a new building. The district's long-term realignment plan goes into effect this school year moving thousands of students into new schools to manage class sizes. Superintendent Kopicki says it's just the beginning of a solution to overcrowding as more people move to Cabarrus County. And that's a challenge that we are going to continue to um, work with and, and, and continue to seek to understand where our kids are moving to and where those growth patterns are the, the hottest and make sure that we accommodate our kids appropriately. He says most of the overcrowding happens at the elementary school level. And as a new elementary school opens today, the district is in the design and planning stages for two more to open in the coming years. So no matter where you go to school in this county, in any one of the schools, elementary, middle, high school, you're going to receive the best education possible by the best educators possible. For families sending their child to a new classroom today, teachers like Madeline King have this piece of advice for starting the year off on the right foot. Find someone that you feel comfortable asking your questions and then ask all the questions, get everything that you need so that you feel secure and like you can have the best experience possible. Destiny Richards, WCNC Charlotte.